In this lesson, we're going to be learning about your student portal. Your student portal account with the Western Dubuque District is a valuable tool for you to be able to keep track of your educational progress as you go through the years. It's really simple to use, but we would like to provide a little instruction on how you use it. First, to access your student portal account, go to the Western Dubuque website. Then, under the slideshow, show, click the portal button. Then click Campus Student. You'll see in the login page a button that says Single Sign-On. Click that button. Now if you're at school and you've logged onto your computer at school with your username and password, you may not see this screen. You may go directly to your portal account. If you're at home, you will see this screen the first time you log on. And it's really simple. All you have to do is enter in the information you need. So you just enter in your username followed by at wdbqschools.org. Then click Next. Enter your password. And then click Sign In. And if it asks if you want to stay signed in, you can click either one of the buttons. You'll now be in your student portal account you'll have a whole bunch of options that you can choose over on the side. You can click on a calendar and the calendar will just show you what happens to be happening um, in your schedule that you happen to have. So you can just advance all the way through here. You can choose the months. You can find out what happens to be going on and you'll notice right here school is actually in session. So you'll just be able to keep track of how your schedule is working for your calendar. You also have attendance so you can see how your attendance has been doing on specific days. If you click on grades you'll be able to see grades that you're receiving in your classes. You can also click on attendance and you'll be able to see your attendance information. When you click schedule you'll see your schedule exhibited in front of you. Your fees you'll be able to see what your fees are that you have and you can also go back to past years if you would like. There could be some documents that have been posted in here for you to read and here's the big one your message center. When you click on message center and you go to inbox you'll see messages that have been sent to you. This is actually almost more reliable than what your emails would be. So get in the habit of checking your message center. You also have the more button. When you click more, you'll be able to see address information. You'll be able to see assessment scores for the scores that we do allow to be shown to you. You'll be able to check out demographic information about yourself. You'll be able to check out family information. You could see any important dates that happen to be coming up, which you see is the schedule here. And if I go back, I can come back to this. And there's online registration for parents. It doesn't work inside of your account. This is only for parents. You also, at some point, may be doing registration for courses that you're going to be taking. That will also show up in the More section. And if this window on the side isn't open when you first access it, go ahead and click this hamburger icon up in the left corner and it will expand this window out. And that's how you get to and move around in your student portal account.